Classified's PowerShift Hub is an innovative mechanism that connects the bicycle's rear wheel to the rear sprockets, or cassette. Contrary to a regular bicycle hub, Classified's PowerShift Hub contains a two-speed transmission. This two-speed transmission is realized by a planetary gear system, where the ring gear is the input or driving gear, and the planet carrier which holds the planet gears serves as the output or driven gear. The central or sun gear is supported by a one-way bearing, which allows rotation in one direction, but blocks it in the other direction. A clutch mechanism is used to connect the ring gear to the planet carrier, in which case the input and output speed of the hub are the same. The power shift hub then simply acts like a regular bicycle hub. The sun gear in this case is carried along with the planet carrier, but carries no load. When the clutch mechanism disengages, the ring gear and planet carrier are uncoupled, and any speed difference between these two forces the planet gears to spin about their axes. In doing so, the sun gear will want to rotate in the opposite direction, but is blocked by the one-way bearing. The planet gears thus have to orbit the stationary sun gear, which they do at a velocity that is approximately 0.7 times smaller than the ring gear's velocity. Conversely, the ring gear rotates about 1.45 times faster than the planet carrier. That means that for one complete revolution of the planet carrier, the ring gear will perform 1.45 revolutions. Vice versa, for one revolution of the ring gear, the planet carrier will only perform about 0.7 revolutions. The number 1.45 can be expressed using any of the following fractions, which may look familiar to a cyclist riding a so-called 2 by setup, where a large chain ring of, say, 52 teeth is combined with a smaller chain ring of, say, 36 teeth. Instead of actually mounting that second, smaller chain ring, the power shift hub can be used to create that chain ring virtually. When the ring gear and planet carrier are coupled by the clutch mechanism, we say the power shift hub is in its one-on-one -on -one ratio, and the chain ring effectively operates as a large chain ring. When instead, the clutch mechanism decouples the ring gear and planet carrier, the power shift hub shifts in its so-called 0.7 ratio, which when multiplied with the tooth count of the large chain ring yields a virtual smaller chain ring, within this particular example, 36 teeth. Now, how is this planetary gear set actually integrated into the power shift hub? The ring gear is connected to the so-called driver of the hub, which holds the cassette. The planet carrier is connected to the so-called hub shell that holds the rear wheel of the bicycle. And finally, the sun gear is connected to the hub's axle that mounts into the frame of the bicycle. Remember that when the power shift hub is in the one-on-one -on -one ratio, the ring gear and the planet carrier, and hence the cassette and the rear wheel, rotate at exactly the same velocity. When instead the power shift hub is shifted into its 0.7 ratio, the speed of the driver, and hence the cassette, is 1.45 times higher than the speed of the carrier, or rear wheel. Let's look at this one last time with the rear wheel and cassette connected to the hub. When the power shift hub is in the one-on-one -on -one ratio, the cassette and wheel speed are identical. Instead, when the power shift hub is in the 0.7 ratio, the wheel rotates about 0.7 times slower than the cassette. That is a speed reduction similar to what is achieved by shifting from the larger to the smaller chain ring in a conventional bicycle drivetrain. Now, what can you actually do with a power shift hub? Well, first of all, you can get rid of the front derailleur and the small chain ring. The function of these components, namely shifting into a smaller chain ring, is entirely taken over by the power shift hub, as we discussed earlier. As an additional benefit, eliminating those components improves the aerodynamics of the bicycle. A second advantage of the power shift hub relates to the time and load required for shifting between chain rings. In traditional front derailleur systems, shifting between chain rings needs to proceed carefully under no load and takes up to two seconds. In the power shift hub instead, thanks to Classified's ultra-fast clutch mechanism, shifts can happen under full load and take less than 150 milliseconds to complete without the risk of dropping your chain. A further advantage of the power shift hub is that it can be used to minimize chain and bearing losses in the rest of the bicycle's drivetrain. These losses are known to be proportional to the amount of chain tension and chain articulation, that is, the amount the chain has to bend to wrap around the chain ring. Both chain tension and chain articulation increase as the size of the chain ring decreases, and vice versa.
Let's consider two equivalent drivetrain configurations to illustrate this point. On the left, we have a so-called two-by system with two chain rings, and on the right we have the classified power shift system with a single large chain ring. When the two-by system is operated in the larger chain ring and the power shift system is in its one-on-one -on -one ratio, the gears and operating conditions in both drivetrains are identical, and so are the losses. Let's now switch into a climbing gear, meaning we shift into the smaller chain ring in the two-by system, and we shift the power shift hub into its 0.7 ratio. Both drivetrains operate at the same ratios, hence the cyclist cadence and wheel speed are the same in both scenarios. However, in the two-by system, because of the smaller chain ring, the chain tension, bearing forces, and chain articulation are about 45% larger than in the power shift system, leading to considerably larger chain and bearing losses. With the front derailleur out of the way and no more need to derail the chain between chain rings, there is virtually no limit to how big a chain ring one can use in a power shift drivetrain. One can even mount a 70 teeth chain ring. The larger the chain ring, the smaller the chain and bearing losses in the drivetrain, which might just be the edge you need to win your next race.